I'm James and welcome to Alpha Sync. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at one of the all AMD gaming PCs in the Alpha Sync lineup. This system has a couple of clever tricks up its sleeve, including support for AMD's shiny new smart access memory technology. This leverages the power of an AMD CPU and an AMD GPU in unison. So let's go ahead and unbox our AlphaSync gaming PC, explore the specs in more detail, and then boot it up and give smart access memory a bit of a go. Let's do this. This isn't how we'd usually recommend you unbox your AlphaSync system, but it is a great opportunity to show you what comes included inside. So there's a small notice here to make sure you remove the protective foam before booting the system up, which we'll do in a moment. And then to the right hand side of the PC, you'll find your included AlphaSync accessory box. This is quite important as it contains the power cables and any spare power supply cables you might need for your system. All of the hardware associated with your build that you'll ever need will be in this box. So it covers you off very nicely. Inside, you'll also find your AlphaSync quick start guide, which may answer any key questions you might have and gives you a good place to jot down purchase numbers and warranty details and all of that good stuff. That brings us nicely on to the system itself then. So you'll see here, we've got this nice soft cell phone to keep your whole PC secure in transit with the case itself protected with a plastic bag to make sure it doesn't get any dints, dents or scratches uh, and make sure it arrives in pristine condition. You'll see here then that there's one more piece of packaging to remove and that's some expanding foam which comes included in the inside of the system. This is perfectly molded and sculpted around all of your components to make sure everything stays nice and secure in shipping. So let's go ahead and remove this side panel with the four thumb screws before removing the foam that comes inside. And there we have the system itself and boy is this a look at. It looks incredible. So we've got the RX 6800 XT graphics card, one of AMD's highest end new releases on the market. Capable of gaming very comfortably at 1080, 1440p and even 4K and it can be supercharged by AMD's smart access memory technology which we'll look at shortly. Under the hood we've got a Ryzen 7 5800X. This is a powerful CPU that's not only going to be great for the latest AAA titles but also a bit of video editing or productivity or streaming if that's something you're looking to get into. This is followed by 16 gigabytes of RAM from Corsair. It is of course RGB as well, as a lot of our other components are, with a large radiator to keep the CPU cool, with an all-in-one cooler from Corsair. I think it's about time though that we plug the system up to see just how good it looks when it's all powered up, which is always the bit that excites me the most. So let's grab our power cable from the included accessory box and then get the system turned on for the very first time. In three, in two, in one, here we go. Okay, fans are spinning, fans are lit up. That looks good already. The graphics card's got a nice little bit of RGB and even a screen on that says RX 6800 series. That's really cool. If I spin the case around to the front as well, you can see those RGB fans from Corsair look awesome. The system is, oh, it looks amazing, doesn't it? I don't think there's any doubting how good this PC looks. And when we go ahead and pop the, the tinted tempered glass side panel back on, we'll get a really stealthy RGB look and feel to this AlphaSync PC build. The first game we're going to try out with AMD's smart access memory support is Dirt 5. Now, I'm really intrigued to see what kind of numbers we're able to get, as the Dirt franchise is one of my favourite. Jumping into the settings menu and then over into video options, you can see we're running at native resolution, so 4K in our case on this 4K monitor, and then basically high settings across the board using the high settings image quality preset. Let's jump out of here and run the game's inbuilt benchmarking mode to see what kind of numbers we can get. I'm hoping we might be able to hit with a little bit of luck, maybe 100 frames a second at 4K, but let's see what happens. In three, in two, in one, what kind of numbers is it? Okay, 113 already. Is it going to stay that level though? That's the important bit. It is. It seems to be hovering still. In fact, it's rising actually. More like 115, 120 frames a second. Visually, the game looks amazing. Uh, the 6800 XT here is not having an easy time at 4K. We could have given it an easier test and run at 1080 or even 1440p. But at 4K, these numbers are damn impressive. Still here around 115, 120, uh, maybe even higher frames a second. That is not a bad showing. And as I say, visually the game looks amazing. 
Racing games, typically, as a rule of thumb, you want about 45 frames a second. 30 is what you'll find on lots of consoles. And 60 is what you want for a first-person shooter. So to be getting double that at 120 frames a second in a racing game is absolutely awesome. Nice one. The next game on the list to try out then is a bit of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now you can see here from some of our graphics settings that we're running at 1080p resolution with basically high settings across the board as well. Motion blur enabled, reflections enabled, so everything tuned up basically to the max. So let's go ahead and once again run the game's benchmark to give us a really easy repeatable result that you guys could too try at home and see what kind of numbers we're able to achieve. Once again, I'm hoping for 100 plus frames a second. That would definitely be a great result. Straight away then, we're sitting around about 150, 170 frames a second. Of course, leveraging the power of smart access memory as well, which basically allows our CPU and GPU to share memory allocations and move it where it needs to go. Having a GPU with loads of memory and a CPU with loads of RAM, but not being able to share that and allocate across the two pieces of hardware is something that can really hinder frame rate. And that's what AMD have nailed here. The frame rate then is still really solid. It does go as high as 180, but as a general rule of thumb in the region of 149 to 155, frames a second. Once again, visually it looks amazing. And the Alpha Sync system here is nice and quiet as well, which is important over long gaming sessions. Nice one from Shadow of the Tomb Raider, AMD Smart Access Memory and Alpha Sync. Time for the next title. That brings us on to the last of the titles that we're going to use to test out Smart Access Memory. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is one of the biggest games of 2021, making support for smart access memory an even bigger bonus. Let's jump into the game settings first of all, and just make sure we're running at good visual optimization. So you can see here we're on full screen uh, with high settings basically across the board. Running at 4K is going to give us the maximum visual fidelity on the 4K monitor and really push uh, the resizable bar support uh, to its limits. I'm happy with all of that, so let's exit out of our settings, run the benchmark mode, and see what happens. Keep an eye as well, guys, on the frames a second in the top left corner. I'm hoping here at 4K we can touch the 60 FPS mark, um, which is obviously a really great place to be at 4K high settings in Valhalla. Looking good visually so far. I like the FPS is actually in the top right hand corner, sitting at the moment at 74, 78 frames a second, that kind of region. Visually, the game looks good as well, and the frame rate from the graph, as you can see here, aside from a couple of spikes upwards, is actually pretty consistent. It's pretty solid, and that frame rate's not moving too much, which is what you want. The last thing you want to happen is have 80 frames a second, and then it drop to 10 uh, for 5 seconds, and then back up to 80, because you're going to get quite a slideshow-type performance, something we're not seeing here. And visually, once again, with the lighting and the shadows and the visual fidelity, it's sharp, it's crisp, and it looks damn good. And on that note, that pretty much wraps up our first look here at AlphaSync at Smart Access Memory, supported on some of the latest AlphaSync systems like this one with an AMD graphics card and an AMD CPU. Make sure to check out this Ryzen 7 5800X and RX 6800 XT beast of a system from AlphaSync Gaming. Thank you very much for tuning in though, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.